Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my client has come back today for a redesign on her nails and these have been on for around four weeks. So I start off by sanitizing my hands and her hands and then I'm gonna go straight in and remove the old design. The drill bit that I'm using is a safety bit um, this is from Nail Dot Supplies. The link will be in the description box where you can get these drill bits from. Making sure that I'm moving around the nail and not staying in one spot to create any sort of heat and just flicking away any bits of lifting that I can file just before the white bit of the lifting and then just flick them away which I will blend into the natural nail plate further on in our prep. So once I've got all the existing coloured acrylic off the nail and we've filed back down to that nice clear base, I will then go in and start my prep work of the natural nail. So now I'm using my Skittles bit also from Nail Supplies and I'm just getting right in those nail folds and around that cuticle area and getting all that dead skin off that, out of them areas and off of the nail plate. I will then go in with my fine sanding band and this is to just etch the nail plate. I'm not really going over the um, acrylic because it just won't do anything, it's that fine. Um, I'm literally using this just to etch that natural growth. And then what I will do is um, go in with my hand file and blend in that acrylic and remove any lifting that is on the nails. So with lifting, as you can see there, it's like white, lighter spots of acrylic. And when you do want to remove that, you want to make sure you're filing behind the white bit so that you're not chasing the lift all the way up the nail. So you wanna put your file just before that, where that white bit starts and file there and then blend that acrylic back into the nail plate and remove all of that lifting. It's really, really important that you do this because if you don't, you will end up getting bacteria trapped in there and things like that and it can make um, nasty green stale, um, nasty green stains on your client's nails. So really make sure you're being super thorough with this step and make sure you do remove all of the lifting. So when you're happy with where they're all blended, you wanna make sure you give the nails a real good clean. So I'm using um, Prep Spray Plus from CJP and I'm just scrubbing those nails clean, making sure there's no debris or dust or dirt left on the nail plate at all. And then I will go in with my acid primer. I'm only using one coat of this because I'm just gonna quickly do a fill. And my client went to grab her cup of coffee and ended up taking the tip off of that nail because <laughs> they're so thin. You file back to that really thin, clear base. So they are so fragile. So basically I'm using my Alpha number no. eight brush today and I'm just gonna go and perform an infill. So I'm using clear acrylic um, just to fill in that new growth and fill in any bits of area where there was lifting and we've removed so it's natural nail and this just makes it so much easier when the client comes back for her redesigns that you always have that clear layer to file back to as you can see i'm keeping it really thin i'm not adding any bulk or any structure here i'm just applying that protective layer i'm then going in with milky pink and peach sorbet and I'm going to create kind of like a marble but more kind of like a diagonal transition um, to create a nice looking nail and then I'm going to add some glitter onto this as well just to add a little bit more definition. So on the ring finger we are doing a French, so I'm going in with my bead of peach sorbet, placing it at the cuticle area, tilting the finger downwards so gravity can do most of the work for me and then just patting and dragging that bead down, making sure the wall of acrylic where I want my smile line to be is um, consistent all the way round from wing right to the very tip um, and that will make sure that you have a really nice crisp smile line. 
I am going to file this anyway, so I'm not going to faff around too much with my brush. And then I'm going to move on to the middle finger, which is going to be full peach sorbet and then a few little specks of glitter in there as well. Because after we've finished with um, acrylic application, we are going to go in with a 3D rose. quickly grabbing a nail form here and going to place that on the nail that we lost and then I'm going to go in with milky pink and peach sorbet and create a ombre. I will be doing the white area first and allowing that to set slightly before I go in with the nail bed colour. I just think that this gives a much nicer blend otherwise you end up with your colours just marbling together. So I'm putting my file on a 90 degree angle and I'm just going to, is that 90 degree? Is that even 90 degrees? <laughs> I don't even know if that's right. But I'm putting my file up to that smile and I'm pushing it right against that acrylic. Um, not pushing down onto the nail at all. You just want to make sure you're filing that wall nice and sharp. And then I'm going to go in with Milky Pink and put this all on that free edge. Making sure that I'm placing that right into those wings as well. Don't worry about getting it on the nail bed area because we're going to file that away anyway. Just make sure that when you do do reverse method you are building up your apex already with your cover pink. Otherwise you're going to have to file it and then go ahead and cap and it's really not necessary. So make sure that you always have that apex in place with your cover pink or your clear. Then back to the index finger and this is where I'll apply Perfect Peach and then blend down. And I did use slightly too much so it blended a little bit more than I would have liked it to. So what I did was just grab another little bead of Milky Pink and then place it at the tip and blend back upwards. And then I will fully encapsulate this nail. What I'm doing here is filing a nail bed that I've created on the thumb and I'm just going to go in with the glitter we've used throughout the set to create a French tip here.
So when all the nails were fully set, we went ahead and filed them, shaped them and buffed them. And now I'm going in with peach sorbet and my 3D brush from Tones. And I'm just gonna create a rose on this ring finger here. I mean, you've all seen me create these roses a million times but it is the same way every single time. I'm then just going to create two little petals either side of the rose and then we're going to go in with some top coat. So the top coat that I'm using today is the Gel Bottle Top Shine and I'm just going in and applying a thin layer to this on all of the nails. I'll then cure that for 60 seconds in the lamp, allow that to cool slightly before I go in with cuticle oil and then that will be the finished video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this set. I really loved it, thought it was beautiful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all and I'll see you all again in my next one. Bye!